Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Two rare Roman lead coffins have been uncovered during excavations at a quarry in Surrey in the south of England, and they display what looked to be clear Celtic iconography etched onto their lids. Westix Archaeology excavated them during work on behalf of raw materials company Sibelco. Workers quarrying at the site believe they had found something, and as required by British law, the company contacted archaeologists to investigate. They discovered that the coffins form part of a group of burials in a small L-shaped cemetery enclosure, aligned east to west. Only around 200 burials with similar lead caskets have been found in the whole of Great Britain, and these two are rare and exciting for archaeologists studying ancient British cultural changes at the time of the Roman conquest. The coffins are of a similar size, measuring 1.9 metres long by 0.45 metres wide and 0.36 metres high. The lead was also originally enclosed in wood, as shown by stained soil within the grave surrounding the coffins. Ongoing scientific tests will confirm this in time. The coffins are made from soldered sheets of cast lead, and their lids are decorated with images of scallop shells, set within triangles and rectangles formed from beaded straps. These types of motifs are common decorations on lids of Romano-Celtic lead coffins, especially in the Thames Valley region. Nobody knows exactly what they signify, but experts in Celtic and Roman iconography say that they are associated with the journey into the underworld. In Romano-Celtic culture, they are also associated with fertility and rebirth. Over time, the coffins have become deformed and their lids have collapsed inward, causing sand to accumulate inside. Because of this, the human remains inside are in a poor state of preservation and a full examination has not yet been carried out. What the archaeologists do know is that in one lead coffin there is a partial skeleton of an adult and an infant, who looks to be no younger than six months old at their time of death. The other coffin contains the remains of another adult. Away from the coffins, the cemetery also contains another four bodies, who, from soil staining, seem to have been held in wooden coffins. There are also a handful of iron nails and pieces of badly degraded wood, which also hint at wooden caskets. The fact that lead was used for two of the caskets, an expensive material in Romano-Celtic times, indicates that those buried inside were of significant importance and social standing. The decorations also show how the Roman and native British cultures merged. Major cultural and social changes would have taken place after the Roman conquest. Although many ancient British tribes did resist, in time they did become at least partially Romanised, and the Celtic elites had to show their allegiance to ensure survival. The lead casket was a Roman burial custom, but the motifs have a British origin, making this an intriguing find in the evolution of British society after the Roman conquest. Later this month, I'm launching a second YouTube channel called Space and Planet, which will focus on Earth and space science news, as well as independent scientific research. Please subscribe now to give my new channel a head start, and I'll begin making videos very soon. There is a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.